heard the legends of the White Wall? Run, Roach. Hello, Long Ears. You paid the tax. Tax? Oh, oh lolly gang. Not so fast, Roach. Ooh. Come on. Ah! Scrubby hog. Ooh. Ah. Where are you? Ah. Could you? Ah. Hey there. What was it happened to Faltus again? Hey, breathe. Hey. Sleep, sleep, sleep. 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 Walking about all door-faced, scaring decent folk. What's the hurry, my prince? Ah, oh. move it. Let's play Burton the Witch. Yay! She can be the witch. Run, Roach. Oh, 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 Need something sharpened? Reforged? What do you have on offer? So long. What was it happened to fault? That's it, Roach. Will you get those shankers, Master Baldus? Maybe. I'm sick. Sick of it all. Our Novi Grad, shining a brilliant pearl amongst. No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. I want to go to live like 
Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Stenches entirely different. Have you seen the new waitresses? No. Be worth seeing. Tomorrow is another day. Oh. Kingfisher preen, then fell in the latrine. Know it? Yeah. Also know the one about Princess Annie, who drowned in the River Fanny. Uh, yeah. At any rate, the Kingfisher welcomes poetry lovers with open arms. Some of the brightest stars in the literary firmament perform here. What are you serving today? Here. Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorceress who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that. Yeah. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple gods cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery if it ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Putrid grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it. It's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Chub on call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God. 
thieving vermin to the confession chamber. Well, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerer's bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings, and the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. What's your point? I ask the questions, Witcher. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them, Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine and the eternal fires. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, you'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it, and when I do, it'll be standard procedure, like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! Any leads, Master? Bloody hell! Seeing the new Take it, Why? Ah, could do worth seeing. And how? 
bugs some lasses from the lands already taken by Nilfgaard. Mm -hmm. I uh, must need someone to show them around Novigrad. You read my mind. My. That ain't what real fire. Not all. It is too. They These just smear ice on their lips first. Stop That's why it doesn't hurt. Dancing on a scaffold. They've gone Ouch. too far. I think it's rather entertaining. No, so you can die there. Oof. Fear death or love it. I ain't a veteran of the struggle against the Black once. Where do you fight? Angrin early on. In Sidaris last, along the banks of the Pontar. So, help me out. I'm looking for the Putrid Grove. Need you to help me find it. Don't know naught about no grove, putrid or other. Don't generally care much for orchardry. This is urgent. Leave me be, I don't know. Any needs, Master? I'm naked. Eyes of war, Benjamin. Arms for the poor. You lame? No chance. Both legs in perfect order. And me arms look like a windmill's wings. There. See me waving them? Looky here. Just look. My mind, thorough addled. Been like this long, adult? Since me mother birthed me. Here's where it's adult. There. Showing you with me finger. See that? Me indicating. I gotta find the place they call the Putrid Grove. I know it but won't say. I know it but won't say. Why not? Not allowed to say. I would tell you though, if you didn't push, you weren't so insistent. If you like, come again. Might tell you then. Guess your mind truly is addled. Didn't I say so? Spare a corporal. Ah, oh, it's you again. Another chat, same as the first. My mind's thorough addled, but the rest of me spit as a fiddle. So, like I said, I'm looking for the putrid grove. Second time round, your wish is my command. It's that away. There. That away, meaning where? In lace halls. There's this alley, past a gate. Not at all putrid and not a grove. Fools call it that, but I know better. And anyone can go there? Of course, unless he forgets to say the old sow's farrowed piglets might not let you in then. But that's easy enough to say. Listen, the old sow's farrowed piglets. See? Thanks for your help. Need squire. Uh. <coughs> Didn't look like rain. Oh! It's over by, I keep you safe. Officer, taking a rest from witch hunting. Greetings, Your Honor. Good to see you. Open up. Who are you and what do you want? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill me things. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Grove's upkeep. Old sow's pharaoh piglets. Ah. Huh. Welcome to the Grove, brother. <laughs> you really use your piss, but about to get my arse wet. What ails you? Can't see out one eye, my lord. It Help him, I drain. That's okay. Right, so, how are things? Like Good. Normal people come to our secret clinics looking for... Now, about time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, 
you're sitting ducks for the Temple Guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atris. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have, but I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher? I've got plans, big plans, far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a rid it of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very... Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Must be mad running around in this right? Ow! Very ever rains these days. Hello, Clue. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with. Uh... Difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but I felt a cold sweat on my arse. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I... Claimed it contained a dead cat. You sure not believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. 
Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. Must be a lever on this wall that would open a secret passage. Free city of Novograd. Name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's Reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even... Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here, on the bottom. Unless the Perman was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. The current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have. 
for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Ooh. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine. A full purse of Novigrad crowns as proof of my goodwill. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and drop them. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. I think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well, now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once, I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. We all lie sometimes. But lying to yourself is running away, whereas there's really nowhere to run. Sometimes you have to escape just to forget. Your friend might have dwelled on his lost legs, but it's not like by grieving he could have grown another pair. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Not bad. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. 
My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. If these boys are here to help us kill rats, they're late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. Not half a rodent left in the granary. I paid in advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. Such is life for sorceresses in Novigrad these days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what I think. The hunters have come, and now they can go. They'll do no such thing. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. <laughs> Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now, before Corrine goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. All right. See you later. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. 
truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Mountains. Put it down, please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it! The next room's blocked. stuff. A doll. The drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't... Please! Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. You didn't know. I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep 
and I've sent her some horrible dreams. Or not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these rays. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! See, now I want to do this the nice way, but you just won't let me. What will you do to me, eh? 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 Burdock. Godlings hate the scent. How would you like a whiff? You're stupid and a pig! What's he doing here? Ah. <coughs> right, I know right to take for a bigger rat picker. Ah. Ah. to you, young man. Here's all a grey, but by your face and straight back, I know you to be in your youth. Greetings. What do you sell? Herbs, young lad. I've all sorts gathered near about. You'd be surprised what useful plants grow by the roadside. Not that surprised, actually. Monk's hood, for instance. Lovely blossom. Soothes aches and pains, but just a handful, and you could poison a whole family. A very useful plant. Yeah. What else would you recommend? Have a look, young man. You seem learned in these matters, so I'll show you my special stock from under the counter. You just might have the herbs I need.
Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Burned some burdock in the stove. Godling couldn't stand the smell and fled. And Corrine simply awoke. Anyway, house is clean. Excellent. I must admit the experience has put me off the building. I shan't keep it. I'm mindful of the reward I owe you, and you'll receive a sizable commission. As soon as I'm... I'm able to sell the house. Come by from time to time and ask. The the Yonkiers never break their word once given. Thanks. Well, well. I eat up all sun's den. Well, I'll stop going there. Hey, <coughs> 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 
Some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short and have around. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are uh, more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for, anyways? to help men in need. Believe me, doing you a big favor by not giving you coin. Now let me through. Whoa, master, you best watch your words. We share a tray, but that don't mean you can treat us like dogs. Shut it. You'll bring misfortune on us. He's a witcher, can't you see? Out of my way. We won't do it. I will. I'll not take orders from anyone. In fact, not the least of fear to teach a witcher some manners. Any last words? That's enough of that. Rick Witcher, master asshole, get out of here, you freak fuck. Oh, that and so pretty, but he can't keep his hands off himself. the Emperor's spies told him, Ciri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Uh, yeah! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Seen your point, Master. Go home. You're done here. <laughs> we can go at it here. Burgers and purchasers of the free city of Novigrad. Master Claytop, that would be me, has the honor. What'll it be? What are you serving? Farewell. Oh, 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 o
dare try to dethrone our reigning king? Ah. The darkness everywhere. I, I, I see it all around. Ram, ram. Time and again. I'll kill for some fun. Ah, no, God. like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him? 
Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Come back, you stink it! Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your arse till you've toes for teeth! Gear out in the nick of time, as always! Zoltan. With your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Fight a witcher. Reminds me of a piece of Yeah, almost like we never left Bergen. Oh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of day. Ages. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian Lager standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem, then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm -hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It's his planner! Ha. Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. 
Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones on yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount the finest Nome. vineyards, every last one. The title no one knows the, of the fruit on the, the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Hm. This the loot he got from the elves of Dolblathana. Aye, must have been in a great rush to leave it behind.
Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She <laughs> did a kind half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa of Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Giddy up. Oh, the <laughs> what village are you from? Willows. It's into my area two days road from the Zima. Yeah, we've got a knife here. Oh, fuck, don't Move it! Ah, you these days. Air brained, all of them. Like dung that flows to the sewers, so the worst 
scum flows into Novigrad. Sort of. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay? From Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Would holler at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. of a drunk troubadour. Oh my. She never lies about Breaking. serious matters. The storekeeper told me that the corpse is well. Don't be shy now. Looking doesn't cost a thing. There's plenty to behold. This here is a collection of wonders that belong to the mage Eremas. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How do you get a hold of these? Never heard of a mage willingly parting with his treasures? No one asked Eremas's will. He was burned at the stake a fortnight ago. Strange they didn't burn his stuff with him. Witch hunters let you resell it just like that? Why wouldn't they? These are common goods, some valuable only as collectibles, perhaps. All right, I get it. These items aren't actually common. Rumor has it, each is an enchanted key. Rumor happened to mention where to find the locks these keys open? Sadly, no. What if I knew you could hardly expect me to sell them? Where did Aramus live? At a lovely residence south of Oxenford. Badly damaged now, as he made the hunters pay dearly for his skin. Show me what you have.
in here. That stench. Ripe cheese. Seems Aramis was a tyromancer.
have shared this discovery with Lambert. Still active. Gotta find a way to turn it off. as deadly as Aramus's cheeses. It's worth taking. Maybe I'll name it the Emmentaler.
Fresh air, finally. Assist you. Wouldn't mind. So long. How can I help you? What do you? Take care now. Folk don't object to your white monk. That's it, Roach.
Run, Roach. Let's go. You like running around, talk to your bloomers. Slow now. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh, yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in the shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found him. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. Thanks, so long. Not the marks of a garcane or a flutter. But not human. Monster was wounded. Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? strength was sneaking along the shoreline. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. The matter you mentioned, 
Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kind of in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Karadin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! guy's more trouble than the Yakimara. The Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others, too. I, I only know of Vien. What about Vien? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. Crazy? What the hell are you doing? I can explain everything. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah. See you later.
slow now. All right, high time you explain some things. Why'd you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, he fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill him. He was a witcher from the school of the cat. As far as I remember, the ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs, weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden, murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader, and the one to deal the mortal blow. What do you intend to do? I intend to get even with the bastards who did it. Karadin, most of all. We have to talk to Vien. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vien. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> now why would I help you? My friend's very determined. Just saw him kill a man who refused to help us contact Keridan. You think you scare me? I don't give a fuck what happens to me. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Caradin's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tretigor, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. This Sleaze. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigal, the kind rich men frequent. Or suck information out of them. And she sells it. Name of this brothel. The Black Lily. Sleaze always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh whence he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. 
I could hit a sparrow from a hundred... You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Solis. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... Do whatever you think's right, Lambert. Not here to preach morals. <laughs> Do what you think is right? Only one thing worse than cold-blooded murder. Hypocrisy. Informers, racist snitches! Vienne, bloody hell, what is it? They've come for me, Varen. I told you someone would sooner or later. Nessa Ter. Shit. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige, try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Solis. Where'll we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Mugs of fright. Ah. Boars. Boars everywhere. My valor Any stands on three it? pillars. They starve Good in food. Velen. Good drink. Come on now. What do you want? Name's Muggs. Rostin Muggs. Need your help in a grave matter. What's this grave matter? I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important documents. I need you to get him back for me. It'll cost you. I don't work for free. That I know. Since the dawn of time, no witcher's lifted a finger without pay. I've a smatter in the coin in the soles of my boots. 
Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Might be my last chance. I'm out of ideas if this don't work. Mm. Oh! Not so fast, Roach. I'm warning you. Dwarven moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Muggs was attacked here. I serve the eternal fire. Hand over the documents, thief. Me? A thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of cards. Not how Mug sees it. Claims he was... mugged. He lost, demanded them papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. How much are they worth to you? Well, I don't read myself, but I've seen the seals. I know it ain't no scrap of ass white. I won't sell them to the first fella comes asking. Listen, it's like this. Either give me the papers, or I'll take them from you. You think I frighten that easy? Enough! I'll give you the damn papers. Take them! Found the thief who took your documents. I can't be. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. Well, like me Aunt Rosalie always said, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. The documents belong to my employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. Got a bit carried away. I lost them in a game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. What, what, what was it to do? He weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I haven't the gumption to show me face at home. Here, now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. Wouldn't you have it any other way?
Again, want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight. Duly heeded. Now show me what you got. <laughs> Had enough? Yes, but next time... Go back to Maid Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. It's raining buckets! Move it! Ooh. That's racism! Oh! Doing some in reeks lately. Ah! You're right. Now, the moron, you're daft. Any man will tell you that. We also. A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Indeed. Going on some voyage looking for a companion, right? Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skelliger. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. Our time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. Put your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? The plan's crazier than it is sane. But there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skelliger, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there.
Any needs, Master? here, the White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. How can I be of service? Next time. The thinking customer will see right away I've got the best deals this side of the... Rain was coming. Felt it in my bones. What are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, it won't stay long. Yes, Geralt? Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here.
Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. In Alan Duan Ar Ice. No, Carl, no! I, I can explain everything! <coughs> Coral? I never looked at the less. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A, a delusion. Where, where, where am I? So Coral enchanted him, just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here? In that case, come to me, Succubus. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. Greetings, Master. Hear about the contract. Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? You ought not jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall. All right. So what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. This tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. It might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So. 
Will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supply is low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. Fine negotiation on your part, Master. So be it. We'll call it agreed. Relax. I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Uh, Look for your kind beyond the walls. Some backsling post is your boss here, and clean that is account of the oh, Vivaldi oh, bank. Oh, so great, <laughs> Merchant was right. Actually, does look like a giant cat. The front to the eternal fire. Um, uh, you know, uh, why does the range around? Oh, no. Let alone my wares. I swell stuff you got here, Mr. Martin. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Another track. down into the moat. Trail ends here. Doors oh. wide open. Interesting. Could use a pipe. literate, if not outright educated. A Doppler. Explains a lot, and complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the Eternal Fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me, for no reason at all. You's a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. That was some pretty bad acting. Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me. <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait. Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old.
long you're gonna make me wait? Wait, stop! I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher. That won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. I don't kill him, true. But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. I know. But I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this. As a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. The halfling became a Witcher, eh? Ooh. the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. And how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one, or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more, and I'll not do business with you again. I'm a heart, about the contract. Oh, well, a night patrol got massacred. Tough men, the lot, armed to the teeth. A beast must be. Must? What makes you say that? If you've seen the corpses. What did the corpses look like? I've not seen anything like it in my life, and I've seen a lot of corpses. Ever heard talk of folk who died in the deserts of Zeracania? from the heat alone. These corpses came straight out of those tales. Let's talk about my pay first. I know what my services are worth. Well, that's better, but... Well, that's better. All right. I believe I... Bodies buried yet? Where? Orders were to burn him. Our medic was to take a look first. Talk to him. He's at the docks now. See what I can do. We'll pay you. The boys and me, we pulled what we had for a reward. The storm, damn it. Ooh. 
You're the medic. What can I help you with? I'm looking into the dead guards. Heard you did autopsies. Did their friends hire you? Good. I'm happy to help. Find any claw or fang marks on the bodies? Fangs? No. Claws? Not quite. Only scratches. Fingernails, most likely. From their adventures with whores. Last body. Where was it found? In a side alley along the road from the docks to the brothel district. Someone had dropped it there in the middle of the night. Need to examine that spot. Heard the bodies were desiccated. Do you believe a beast killed them? I don't. The bodies were dried out. But perhaps they tried to apprehend a mage who cast a nasty spell on them. Was it dehydration? Strictly speaking, no. Though I don't quite know what to compare it to. Thanks. Should go see the place where they were found. Good luck. on two legs. to the room. This is it. Hmm. That's not normal. Where am I? Seen anything strange around here? Anything alarming? I... Uh, I was in the house. That one? I believe so. Forgive me. I must rest. Charmed by a succubus? Gotta get in that house and see what's inside. He's grown tired of your company. Lady? What lady? See her ears? She elf. And everyone knows elves are always doing something on the sly. I'm not doing anything, I swear it. I must just fetch some water. Where will you put it? Where's your jug, eh? Where's your bucket? Why don't you just tell the truth? What do you mean, why? She's a non-human. Lions in their blood. Don't let that fair face beguile you, Witcher. Pretty as a picture on the outside, she elves, but the most vile filth within. Leave her be. By what right are you giving me orders, eh? Let's go, Reddy. Killing's like batting an eye for Witchman.
You can breathe. It's over. Over? For you, perhaps. You'll go on your merry way. But I must stay here. And they will, too. Stop. Can't handle all this gratitude. We really ought to learn our manners from the Elder Races. That's plain to see. What would you expect? Payment? Or am I to fall into your arms? Perhaps spread my legs for you? Go, Vatgern. And remember, we neither need nor want your pity. <clears throat> oh, you. Lebioda's wounds. Geralt of Rivia. What's this one doing here? You stupid! Can't you see he's a witcher? Lightly tracking some beast! Oi, Grey Knight! Need a squire? Have you come to kill me? You shouldn't have come here. Who ordains so? It's a human city. Belongs to them. And I protect them from the likes of you. So it's true what they say about witches. You're but murderers for hire. Let's dance. Perfect weather to sit by a fire. Rain, I like rain. <laughs> oh, What's this one doing here? You stupid. Can't you see he's a witcher? Lightly tracking some beast. You shouldn't have come. 
who ordains? It's a human city. So it's true what they say about Witcher. Ever heard of wit? Have you come? You shouldn't have come. Cool. It's a so it's. were killed by a succubus. Su succubus? In Novigrad? How? Light of the eternal fire protects the city. Must have gone out a few times recently. In any case, the succubus is dead. Here's proof. And here's your reward, as promised. Farewell. from Skellige. They've taken over crippled Kate's. Taken over? How's that? Clobbered the innkeep, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loot. Yeah, 
of sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. <sighs> Fine. I'll see what I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world. Ooh. Watch where you're walking. Best Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just who's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skellige. I'm not going anywhere. But you are. If not, I'll carry you out, right after I knock you unconscious. You're threatening me? Me? Know who I am? Jormund of Pharaoh? Never heard of you. Continent rats. Oi! Mates! Come here! This pipsqueak's looking to get his gob wallop. Ah! Smell a card! That's her! Come on! Best blade's not worth shaking. Swinging it, eh? Don't have time to go back and forth on this. Let's do this quick. What? Damn it! What you wanna do, Mantum? No, P-Brain. Challenging you to a duel. I win, you take your mates and get out. Ah, why didn't you say so? I'm always up for Well, how long you gonna make me wait? That's all! Enough! Great for his tits. That sobered me up quick. Gents, let's go now. Have our fun elsewhere. This blade's not worth shite of a weak arm swinging it, eh? Thanks so much. We could not have managed. We're not. Plenty. Farewell. Oh, 
Eternal flame will burn away our sins. Show me what you got on offer. Show. Farewell. You know what they say about you, what? If you seek justice, hire a witcher. Move it. His death. His Majesty King Radovid is a we stern ruler, but a just one. They do like it. Say we all wait. Start the thing in there. Come on now. So glum. The old hag holding out on you. Uh, oh. Reuben takes a cut. Cleaver takes a cut. How's a man to tell? Mm -hmm. I asked for fresh fish. Watch this. Fresh fish. You call this fresh? White one. Take a gander. What should I whip up for supper? My wife's mum's an old suckers. Mm. Yablets off to the latest fashion. Let's get them here and only here. Ah, got it. Oh, oh. 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 oh
I believe I ate some terrible. Good folk of no regret. A hired Be killer. Not afraid. I wonder who pays taxes. Eternal fire walk with you.
long you're gonna make me wait. Show me what you got.
Looking to Temple Guard. Your hair with the sun. 
Back there at Lock and Reed. <laughs> Truth is, we're all ready to like like Get him. Oh! Oh! Day a mice found her in the dark. Never inside. Despair gripped her and sought to find a medic. For Do you wish the eternal fire's blessing upon you and your household? Come, true believer. May its light shine. Watch it, or you'll see the shine of my sword. And back off. That incense is making me nauseous. You might have said so right away. Countersign and fish soup gives the deacon's auntie a headache. What do you need? Before you ask, I'm all out of hemorrhoid cream. What are you talking about? Your incense that bad for the brain? What do you mean? You gave the password, signaling you wish to buy some herbs. You're about as much a priest of the eternal fire as I am a Vestal Virgin. What sort of conspiracy is this? Conspiracy? Dare. Folks see conspiracies everywhere. I sell harmless things. Yet in turbulent times like these... Think it's safer to don priest's robes? See, thing is, in this town, impersonating a priest is likely grounds for punishment. Cruel and unusual, I'd wager. I impersonate no one. I am a priest. Though I am also an alchemist. Sadly, it's become difficult to reconcile the two. Uh, will you report me? Or shall we make a deal? Trying to bribe me? Save your coin. I'm not fond of priests. In fact, you'd have to pay me to talk to them. Then I shall sell you my wares for less. Cast your eyes. See if there's aught you could use. Provided, of course, you do not seek hemorrhoid cream. Show me what you have in stock. Take care. Sleep, sleep, sleep.
greetings. What have you got to pull? And how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time. And you don't? Just so happens I'm... Then maybe you'd like... Been a loan shark long? Aye. Sit. So you helped your dad to... Nah. Show me what you... So long. Watch it, Tram. No big ones watch your stomping ground. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Need some armor. So long. Who me? 
see it. Wouldn't mind a little. So long. Seek here, vagrants. Time to water the horses. You should not have come to the city. You'd be better off staying in the tree. What am I to do now? Yes? Count Kurt Dysart. Are you here regarding the compact? Hmm. Wanted to hire a witcher, didn't you? I did, but not just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the School of the Cat. Which do you belong to? School of the Wolf. Ah, yes. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Uh, no. Though so his name did begin with a B. Never mind. Uh, to the matter at hand. Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now, I've learned, the building is said to be haunted. Goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghosts. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble, while even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Let's talk about my reward first. I beg your pardon? Asking for coin already, but you've not done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Novigrad and he's off his head in minutes. Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? Ha ha! That was rich! I could hire three witches for that amount. 
glad if you've had your jest. How much? Hmm. No, I'm afraid that... Yes, agreed. Fine. I'm willing to investigate. How do I get there? An orchard adjoins the property. The house itself you should recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Here's the key. And good luck. It's exhibit a natural inclination toward brigandry. Every one of you. Why is your you ass so right? Again. Even the to collect his protection from the Let's go! in a hurry. Salt. Probably to drive ghosts away. <laughs> Pointless superstition. Air flowing through this crack. There's something in there. somehow.
break its magic bonds. A few days more and it would have wreaked havoc all around. seen the new waitresses. No. Who were they? Back again, Rivian Trap. Yes? How shouldn't give you any more trouble. A little renovation and it should be fit for you to move into. Truly? Why, the estate's price just spiked sharply. What precisely was the problem? Earth Elemental trapped in the cellar. It was just trying to get out. Almost demolished the house in the effort. Hmm. Far more interesting than a ghost, that's certain. And the cellar you mentioned, is it a mistake to be furnished? Hard to say. Oh, we should see. Ah, your bounty. There you are. And uh, farewell.
This is no country for seeking to get you drunk, If I was seeking to get you drunk, madam, we would not be drinking Cote de Blessure. Well, I have a lot of I shall stop coming here. Oh, wow. I don't know if still managed to procure five beverages. Stay liquor here. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, indeed. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Mm, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Ernst Van Horn? Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, 
He'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggar's men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. between two pints, cos you're out of your fucking element. So make like a hare and sod off. Let's pretend I didn't hear that. Now get out of here, before I get tired of playing make-believe. I see you lot are tough in the town and nowhere else. Fuck this, we're gonna let some dandy's boyfriend scare us. Let's show him how things are done on our turf. <laughs> Pathetic. Thank you for your help. That's the only way to deal with this rabble. They beg for trouble. And you're begging for trouble just coming here at this hour. Especially dressed like that. I've come on business. Good luck with that. Wait. You helped me once, perhaps you'd be willing to do it again. For more than a kind word this time. What's involved? Just to be clear, I'm neither a bodyguard nor an assassin for hire. Now, what makes you think I need either of them? I'd simply ask you to accompany me on a stroll. Should anything happen along the way, well, perhaps then you might need to do some work for your pay. What say you to that? Agreed. I'll be right behind you. Keep your hand on your hilt. As a general matter of precaution, of course. Of course. Always do that when I'm out for a stroll. Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? Help! Save me! I'm gone! We're covered in ages. Mutants, blasphemers, kobolds. <laughs>
Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? My presence is in the front of the eternal fire. Not a step closer! What now? Not a step closer! What now? This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. The King of Beggars, man. His name is Timboy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. <laughs> we need him far more than he needs us. to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver. There's gotta be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Thirty-fives as low as we'll go. Twenty-fives our limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. <laughs> You're clearly daft, Tramp. No deal. Come on, boys. Fine. No deal. Geralt, what are you- Wait! All right. Certainly know how to negotiate, concerned friend. Oh, 25 it is, and the discount. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, tin boy. Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this now? Time. Cleaver's boys! News travels fast! Stop! Stop. What do we do? More in there. Careful. There could be more careful. There could be more in there. Careful. There could be more in Follow me. What now?
Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. Hattori, wait. So, what's it gonna be? Tori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until mid van. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. I done. Geralt, you must help me. No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely. You must find me a bodyguard. Geralt, I beg you, they'll kill me. Got anyone specific in mind? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Hard times we live in. Yes, I should interject. <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your plowing business. You need a smack, is that it? You're gonna make me wait. In this very inn, and that very tight a fella stuck in the middle of the because he's the most important and yours. It's not diversion. Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Sucrus, you did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. What brings you here, Geralt? Looking for a bodyguard. 
interested. Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to barter. Favor for a favor, aren't we? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? My brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of made. It was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay, but it's fair. Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? Boring as fucking shite. Do you know elves now, Roman? Children? Eternal fire! Oh! Fuck. Ah, I've seen better. Oh! Fuck! Oh! Did you grab a I see a challenger who seeks to subdue the Iron Driver. Greetings. Hi, hi, Garrett. How you doing? Got rid of that shipment. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. Okay, 
Mr. Fancy Pants. God. What's he doing here? This drink for its nearly night. Greetings, Satori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. You'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could... borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. in this one street. Never thought there were that many in the world. Greetings. Oh, Geralt. Hattori's got a job for us. Great. Well, he was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Hmm. Sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. Sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark them with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. You! I know you! 
Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Your friend Zygrin sends his regards. By Rune Durin, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. Knack ones for Danians. As long as they pay and don't hit. Where are those crafting supplies? Does stink of ammonia. Must be it. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. Have you any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? Oi, Geralt. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus, why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you've pulled. Hattori sent you? That plowing non-human will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam! Give him here, Sucris. Twirsack! with this fighter. Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Of course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I had to pay him a visit too. I like what you see. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. 
Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. What do you have on offer? So long. <laughs> 